Dead people. They've been around the block, and today on SciShow News, dead person wisdom is helping enrich our understanding of the natural world. For starters, how in Odin's name did Vikings manage to be such awesome navigators? Medieval Chinese explorers used the first magnetic compasses, and Mediterranean sailors used the sun. But historians have long scratched their heads over how Vikings so readily found their way through foggy, often sunless northern seas. Vikings sailed as far south as Africa, as far east as Siberia, and they beat Goliath. Columbus to the Americas by hundreds of years. Well, Viking legend had it that they used a gem called a sunstone to reveal the position of the sun through fog, clouds, pre-light, and twilight. But Viking legend also has it that people are made out of driftwood. However, three years ago, divers found a crystal among navigation tools on a 16th century English shipwreck off the island of Alderney. Physicists from France's University of Rennes studied the card deck-shaped crystal and found it to be Icelandic spar, a type of calcite. And the the crystal had an unusual property, called birefringence. It creates a double refraction of light, revealing the direction of the light source to within one degree of accuracy, and it works in dull light even when the sun is below the horizon. Reporting in the Proceedings of the Royal Academy A, the physicists say that they believe the Tudor English sailors were using the stone as a solar compass. We've yet to find anything like the crystal in a Viking shipwreck, though fragments of Icelandic spar were found last year in a Viking settlement. The author of the study say that a sunstone has probably never been discovered until now because the crystal structure is so fragile. But compasses, it appears, are nothing new. And neither is heart disease. Gerontologists from the University of Southern California revealed in The Lancet on Sunday that arteries of mummies discovered all over the world are just as clogged as ours. Atherosclerosis is the number one cause of death in the developed world, causing blood clots, heart attacks, and strokes. For its prevalence, we've blamed tobacco, pepperoni pizza, and the ability to just get in your car and drive to the grocery store that's just two blocks down the street, people. But CT scans revealed that 137 mummies hailing from four continents and spanning 4,000 years of history add clogged arteries too. Though a daily double bacon donut burger and a sedentary lifestyle probably accelerate atherosclerosis, it appears that there's more to it than that. The mummies had a wide range of diets and lifestyles. Peruvian mummies, Aleutian mummies, and mummies from the southwestern U.S. had been normal people in life mummified by naturally cold or dry conditions. And Egyptian mummies were mummified intentionally because of their status as aristocrats. Despite the differences in lifestyle, all of the mummies showed about the same level of atherosclerosis. One group that did show more signs of the condition was the elderly. In all the populations, there is a connection between the disease and age, which suggests that calcium buildup in the arteries is somehow inherent, just part of growing older. Your demise is inevitable. And on that note, thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest breaking news, you can go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. And if you have any questions or ideas, we're on Facebook and Twitter and down in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bam.